Had time to reflect on the weekend's result against AFC Wimbledon. Looking back, would you say it was a fair result? I think it was a fair result in the end, yeah. I was really pleased with our performance. Um, first half, I thought we were, were quite dominant. I thought our football was excellent at times, really, really good. You know, continued on from the, the Doncaster game. And defensively, you know, maybe, you know, six weeks ago we'd lost that game. You know, when they were putting pressure on. Good crowd, good stadium, good good club. Um, and, you know, they were putting a lot of pressure on us and we stood strong. Trevor looked assured. I thought Jacob done very well as well. The whole back four as a unit looked really solid and that gives you a base to build on and say we've got to take the positive that we, we got a point away from home and anything in the next two games, if we can get three points, then it makes it a very big point. Do you think coming off the back of the confidence against Spurs and obviously going into Saturday's game against Wimbledon, building a bit of pressure and also just putting a consistent run of foundations together, such as your back line, your goalkeeper. I just must build your team full of confidence going into games like Wigan and, and also Wickham on Saturday. Yeah, I think it, they look more assured. You know, there's more. I've had to chop and change it all season due to injuries and loss of form and you know conceding goals. So there's been no real consistency. So the, the first and foremost is to try and get a settled back four or five, whichever system we go with, and you know get a bit of continuity into the side. And as you say, the last three performances. You know, outside the first half at Doncaster, which was, we, we actually played very well. You know, statistics told us we were keeping the ball very well, but didn't defend. Um, you know, and we're, we seem to be turning the corner with that. Two tough, tough games coming up, but certainly we're going into it full of confidence. You know, there's, we're hoping that we'll have more players as the week progresses, probably not for the Wigan game. But, you know, and there's a belief that we can defend, we can work hard together, and that we can pass the ball. We must continue to pass the ball and play exciting football. And, you know, we had chances Saturday. Greg misses a great chance. Cole's a good chance, so you expect him to score. And it's a penalty on Cole as well. So we're going in the right direction for me. Um, there'll be bumps along the road. You know, we can't control all the results. They went against us a little bit Saturday. We can only control what we do, and we'll do it to the best of our ability. Do you look at the signings of Trevor and, and uh, Jacob as well, and you look like that's how meticulous you and your coaching staff are, Martin Foyle as well. You've put the hard work in to identify players that have come in and made an instant impact. Yeah, it's tough because you know, we don't. There's no magic wand to it. You know, everyone says well, we're going to sign more players. January is a tough window. You know, we we um, we're down at the bottom of the table. So you know, attraction-wise, it's you know people think twice about it, and we can't pay lots of money. So it's difficult to get players in. It's difficult to get players that, that are better than what you have, and that's what you have to be careful with. That you don't load the squad with players that aren't quite as good as what you have in your starting eleven. And it gives me or, it certainly gives me more options. Trevor's an international goalkeeper. You know, and you can see his assurance on the ground with his feet as well as coming for crosses in the last minute as well you know punching the cross and Jacob's a young boy I fancied in the summer as well watched him at Scunthorpe unfortunately he signed for Burnley instead of coming for us but we can understand that but we've got him now he's done very well you've got to remember he's still a young boy as well so there you know he'll I think he'll get better and better and if we can add to that performance defensively and keep passing the ball like we did on on Saturday especially first half then I can see us going forward. Obviously, it makes your job a hell of a lot easier then, doesn't it, where they come in, put in two performances of high quality, get the fans on stride straight away and you can go, well, I, I know what I'm doing kind of thing. Yeah, look, I send a lot of players in the summer, you know, and you can't get them all right. It's, it's impossible at that stage. You know, as I said, we've had our, obviously, I've known Trevor for a long time. Um, we've had our eyes on Jacob for a year and a half, you know, between me and Martin Foyle when I was at Motherwell as well. Um, the, the next two signings that we hopefully will get over the line this week, you know, we've tracked for almost a year and I've worked with one of them before. So, you know, it's a case of it takes time. You can't get every sign in right. You know, people spend millions and millions of pounds and get them wrong. So we certainly aren't spending that and you get some right. But now we're we're now hand picking it. It's a case of we know what positions, we know where we need to strengthen and you're signing one and two instead of nineteen, which is, is virtually impossible to get right. So yeah, it's it's more stable, it's been more considered rather than rushed and, and hopefully, you know, we see the benefits of that going forward into the, the second half of the season. Bit of a quick turnaround as as we always see throughout the season, Saturday, Tuesday. Wigan at home doesn't come really much tougher than that, does it really? No, but it's great, you know, Wigan have sold out their end, so, you know, it'll be another atmosphere like Sheffield Wednesday. Hopefully the fans come again in their numbers as they have done all season, you know, I think we took three, four hundred down to Wimbledon and I met them off the coach on Saturday night and there was, I think there was a few pints drunk down in Wimbledon as well, so the boys were lively, said we were getting promoted to the championship, so, um, you know, hopefully we get that belief and that we get the fans behind us again, which they have been, and it'll be a great atmosphere, you know, we have to remember We've, we've wanted this for a long, long time as a football club and we have to enjoy nights like the Wigan game and then Saturday, Wickham right up at the very top of the league as well. So two tough games, but games you want to be involved in. 
how impressed have you been with Wigan this season? Obviously, I don't think you were really fancied that much at the start of the season. We knew we'd be strong, but I don't think many people expected them to be as solid as they have been this year. I did. <laughs> Based on the amount of money there they've got to play with and the, the, the signings and what they're able to, how the, the players are able to attract. You know, if you look at their last two signings, you know, Graham Shinney, who I played against many times when he played for Aberdeen, and Josh McGuinness, who I've worked with with, with Northern Ireland. So, you know, looking at the calibre of the signings and the money they're paying for them in, in terms of um, the quality they've added, then yeah, they're going to be right up there all season. So, it's up to us to try and compete with that. Um, it's a difficult challenge but as I say we don't fear anybody here at all and if we play our game and cement our game from the start and, and rule out the individual mistakes which we've, we've made on occasions then we'll be okay. You count apart Liam Richardson to obviously come through the assistant manager role to take on to the first team manager role. How impressed have you been because his job's not been easy due to things off the field during his time at the club? Yeah I think you know Liam's you know, built the squad together you know I'm saying yeah, I expected them to be up there because They've got more finances, but you have to get the right players. Um, he's got a good style of play, really well organised, and obviously he came in at a difficult time, stabilised, and and they've gone from strength to strength. You know, Wigan are a good club, an established football club, that had financial problems at times, but you know they're they're a club that be aiming for the championship as well. Wickham on Saturday, and you just talked to it there. We're home tomorrow and also on Saturday against two of the teams in the top half of the table. How much are you looking forward to getting back on home soil in front of? Four thousand or so home fans. Yeah, you know it's you know their support against Doncaster. Um, you know they, the boys that stayed and the fans that came and supported right through with three 0 down. They were fantastic. You need that because when you stick together and you you believe in each other, you can you can achieve things that nobody expects. And you know we're expected to, to struggle in these two games. Um, we've struggled in the games we're expected to win at times. But you know we can surprise people if we put a performance defensively like we done in the second half, and we play like we did on the ball in the first half. Then we'll cause real problems for both teams. Two very different games. One that you know, Wigan will get the ball down and play a little bit more. Or Wickham play directly in your half, and then they, when they land on it, they've got some very, very good footballers. And you look at both squads, and you know, you you realise they're difficult tasks, but tasks that are you know definitely achievable. <laughs>